What's up guys, Jason here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 20 player review. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing 84 rated Memphis Depay. Now this card is currently going for around 10,000 coins on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And as you can see, I brought him for 15k, but this was a couple weeks back. So in the 31 matches I did play with him, he's managed to get me 11 goals and 6 assists. Now that doesn't seem the greatest, but I did also play him in the cam position and and I did also move him to the left wing position, just testing out where he did work best. Now he's got the high low work rates, the three star weak foot, what isn't the greatest, and then of course the five star skill moves. So his price range is 1,400 to 40,000 coins. So if you're lucky, you might be able to snipe him for very cheap. And he's one of those strikers on the game who isn't too expensive, but isn't cheap. He's like in that middle range of the very good players in FIFA. And I think he's the perfect player around this stage of the game you know a couple weeks into the game mode um, you don't have the most amount of coins but you want to have you know these high quality good players and I do think Depay will be that player for you so as you can see now looking at the stats on the face card he's got the 87 pace the 80 shooting the 81 passing 83 dribbling 32 defending and 78 physical and then moving now into the in-game stats acceleration there and at sprint speed are both 87 what is very nice is the attack positioning of 83 what again is perfect as he is always in the correct position the finishing at 78 is a bit low in my opinion but you can't really feel it too much in game and then the shot power there absolutely insane 87 and with the chem star that has helped to boost it up even more the long shots there at 81 they do feel higher in my opinion probably more around the 90 mark and then he also has at least 74 volleys and at least 71 penalties and then the passing again, very nice, 81 overall, and this includes the 85 curve, the long passing at 74, but that isn't really too important, the 80 short pass, what is perfect, the 88 free kick accuracy, and this guy is insane at free kicks, as you'll see from the video, he has the 83 crossing and then the 85 vision. And then moving into the dribbling now, he has the 81 agility. Now that is a bit low for me personally. I do like players with around 85 plus agility, but 81 isn't too bad. And once again, with the correct chem style that will be boosted. Balance again, not the highest for a skiller, only 79, but in general, not too bad at all. Reactions of 79, ball control of 85, and the dribbling of 84, what is incredible. And then he also has 78 composure, what isn't too bad. Defending there, not too important. And then the physical, he has the 74 jumping, the 79 stamina, what is all right. The 80 strength, what is very good, and you definitely do feel that in game. And then he has the 75 aggression. So all around looking at this card, he does have some very key and very good in-game stats that do fit the meta he's strong he's fast he's got good shooting good passing and good dribbling so all round a very good player and also as i already mentioned you can play this guy in a cam as well because that passing is so good but anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for 84 rated the pie the first pro with this card was his shot power now as i mentioned in the in-game stats the pie does have 87 shot power what is a very very good so when he's in front of goal even though that finishing is only 78 he's able to beat the keeper a lot of the time just because the shot power is so hard to stop and he just take very powerful shots you will also notice this a lot from free kicks when he just take them the amount of power he's able to generate is honestly insane especially with the short run up so shot power is great and it really does counteract that finishing of 78 what isn't the worst to be honest but for a striker i do like to have 80 plus but again you can apply a chem style to help improve that finishing but in my opinion it is just fine how it is after that the next pro with this card was his strength now he has 80 strength and it is pretty good but it's not the highest really compared to you know a lot of stronger players on fifa but for some reason this guy feels like an absolute tank a lot of things he does have that the other strong players don't have is he is quick as well so you know he's pretty quick he has good strength you put those two things together and this guy's like an absolute tank when he reaches his top speed just barging players out of the way and he is very good at doing that so his strength was definitely a pro with this card and something i really enjoyed a lot of five star skillers they are weak on the ball but depay is an exception he's really strong really fast and also has a very good skill moves and dribbling and then the final pro with this card was his curve now when in front of goal i'll do the 
recommend to take the power shot utilizing Depay's power or take the finesse shot because this guy's curve is crazy. And again, just like with the shot power from free kicks, you can really feel it. The way the ball moves and the accuracy from his free kicks are incredible. So in front of goal, as I've already mentioned, this guy only has 78 finishing, but is actually fairly clinical. Um, and then the only con I could find with this card was his weak foot. Now, we just only have a three-star weak foot, what isn't the greatest in my opinion. And um, for some reason for me, it just probably feel more like a two-star weak foot. He just doesn't use his left foot at all. And when in front of goal on that weaker left foot, I wouldn't even bother shooting because basically 9.5 or 9 out of 9.9 .9 out of 10 times the shot will go wide or not go in so i'd always make sure to shoot on that, that stronger right foot always pass on that stronger right foot and always do dribbling on the stronger right foot because the left foot it just doesn't do anything for me i'm not really too sure why i think that's one of the reasons maybe he didn't score as many goals for me as i would have expected it's just because a lot of those chances did fall to him on his weaker left foot and he just couldn't convert them but actually getting into those good positions and those good scoring positions he was a very good good so the key stat is the 88 free kicks and now i don't manage to score a free kick in this video but let me just tell you this his free kicks are honestly insane some of the best if not the best on the game i hit the crossbar loads of times the keeper had to make some really good saves loads of times so i think if i did play a few more matches with this guy i definitely would be able to score some more free kicks and also i think the more i played with this card the more i did get used to him I think now I've got around 50 goals within 70 matches, what isn't a bad return to be honest, especially when I did start off with only 11 in 30. So he does have the high low work rates and in my opinion this is perfect for a striker or a winger or just any attacking player in general. He's always in the right position, he's always making those runs in behind, but he's always very very helpful. So overall a very fun and enjoyable card, has some great stats and for around 10,000 coins you just can't go wrong with him, you know he's got some good links, plays in a good league and and is a very good card so guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview so now moving into the overview for Memphis Depay, on the enjoyment scale I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. The reason it isn't any higher is just because of that weak foot and how bad it is. If he did maybe have like a 4 star weak foot and was a lot more clinical in front of goal on that weak foot, it probably would be like a 9 out of 10 or an 8.5. But that weak foot does really bring down the enjoyment for me just because it can be very frustrating when you're in front of goal, especially in foot champs, on that weaker left foot you take the shot and then it flies into row Z. Then on the competitiveness scale, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Once again, the only thing that does lay down is that weak foot. But apart from that, a great, great card. And especially for, you know, the first couple months of foot champs, I think this guy would do a great job. Hopefully he's got a few forms or special cards this year as well, because he's always one of those fun and enjoyable plays to use. And then on the scaling scale, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Obviously, his agility is a bit low and his balance isn't the greatest. But apart from that, his actual ball control and dribbling was very nice. One thing I really like about this card is because it does have the high dribbling, it feels like it glides across the pitch. Now, there's only a few skillers on FIFA who feel like this. I think another one is a Kocha. The way they move and just glide across the pitch from performing skill moves is very satisfying and very effective. And then as an overall rating, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. So overall, as you can tell, 7.5s on literally everything. So I think the best way to describe this card is solid and it does the job. You know, a very nice rating, very good stats, very good league, very good links. Definitely worth the coins as well. It's only around 10,000 coins. So I'll definitely recommend to go and try them out if you're looking for a fun card in foot champs. If you want a clinical player in front of goal, then maybe this isn't going to be your player. But if you do enjoy using skill moves and just want to have a bit of fun, then I'll definitely recommend to pick them up. You can also link them up with five star skillers such as Mbappe and Neymar if you do have the coins and even Dean Royer. So there's a lot of options and a lot of links. I did have him with Thiago Mendes in my squad and those two made a, a very good part partnership but anyway guys this has been the overview now let's get into the outro so guys i do hope you have enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe tell me in the comment section below who you do want me to review next i also just want to say a massive thanks for the support on youtube we're gaining a lot of subscribers now at the start of the year it started off a bit slow views and subscriber wise but now they're picking up what is great to see so hopefully we can carry on improving and carry on growing quickly so i just want to say a quick disclaimer my birthday is going to be in a couple of days so i probably won't be uploading now for maybe 
three or four days. There might be one video in between if I can get it out. So I'm not going inactive or anything. I'm just taking a break for my birthday. You know, it's time just to chill out a bit and enjoy my 19th birthday. Well, it's absolutely insane to think I'm going to be 19, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. As I already mentioned, go and follow me on social media. They will be linked on screen right now. So thanks for watching and see you soon.